Hi, I'm Emily and I'm the Office Support Advisor at the College and Career Access Center and I had a pretty traditional road to college. I came from a family where both of my parents were lucky enough to be able to attend college so it was the expectation that me and my siblings would attend college. It was never really spoken to us, we just kind of assumed that that was the path that we should choose. And I kind of had an idea already of what I wanted to do for a career choice so I knew that my career involved me attending college. I was very interested in science and in healthcare in high school, so I either knew I wanted to be a nurse or a doctor. I also knew that I wanted to have a family and be in my family's life a lot, and so I didn't feel like being a doctor would really fit with that goal, so I decided I wanted to go into nursing school. So probably one of the more difficult things with my career path was that I didn't really explore colleges. I just kind of went where I thought that all my friends were going and I applied to literally one school and I got accepted there and that was the University of Michigan and I knew they had a really good nursing program and a lot of the people that I went to high school with that had graduated the prior year went there so that was where I went. Uh, which unfortunately was not the best choice for me. I should have explored a little bit more of what I was looking for in a college based on size and um, distance from home and all those things that you know they really encourage you to do, which would have been the best choice for me. But I attended the University of Michigan my freshman year and most of my classes had about 100 plus kids in them and I realized that that was just not a good fit for me. I was kind of a shy kid and it wasn't really easy for me to make friends and so it was kind of a lonely year for me. Um, the one good decision I did make though was I took advantage of the great community college in our area. So I took some of my prerequisites before my freshman year and I got my gen ed math class out of the way and I got my first biology class out of the way. So that was really a good choice for me to make. So after I realized that the University of Michigan was not the best fit for me, I did look into some more smaller colleges and I decided to go to Valparaiso University, which is a small liberal arts college in Indiana. And this was a great choice for me. Um, it was about classes of 16 to 20 kids. I really got to know the people that I went to school with. I got to know my professors. I always felt like there was somebody I could go talk to if I had a question. We had small study groups. And it was just a much better fit for me socially and academically. Um, so what I would, I would encourage you to do is, as a junior and senior is really start to think about what you're looking for in a college. Take a look at colleges that fit size that you're looking for. You may really enjoy a big university where you see new people every day and kind of blend in with a lot of other kids. Or you may want to have that small class experience that I had where you get to know everyone in your class. You really get to know your professors. It's also really important to think about distance from home. Do you want to be able to come home every weekend? Do you want to potentially live at home? Or do you want to have a drive that makes it a little bit harder for you to come home so you get some more independence? So all these things are really, really important. Don't count on going where all your friends are going because chances are, even though I'm sure you'll still see those friends, that you're really going to explore new friendships when you get to school and a lot will be based on where you live, the dorm you live in, or clubs or social things that you get involved with at school. So that would be one of my biggest pieces of advice for juniors and seniors is to really, really think about what kind of school you want to go to. It doesn't necessarily have to be a particular school you hone in on, um, but size and location are a really big thing and I think really important to making your college experience enjoyable. The other thing um, that I said that I did, which I think was a good choice, was to take as many prerequisites and classes that you can take either during the summer or when you're in high school, if you can take advantage of that program, it saves you money. Uh, it helps lessen your class load. I was able to take significantly less amount of credits in my freshman year, which allowed me to really focus on some of my harder classes. And so I would really encourage you to take advantage of that um, if you're able to. So thank you so much.